Marie Curie, born Maria Skłodowska, on November the 7th, 1867, in Warsaw, Poland, was a physicist and chemist whose pioneering work in radioactivity revolutionized science. Her extraordinary achievements not only made her a towering figure in the scientific community, but also broke numerous barriers for women in science. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, the first person to win two Nobel Prizes, and remains one of the most celebrated scientists in history. Marie was born into a family of educators in Russian-occupied Poland. Her father, Władysław Skłodowski, was a teacher of mathematics and physics, and her mother, Bronisława Boguska, was a school principal. Though the family was highly educated, they struggled financially after her father lost his position for his pro-Polish views, which put the family at odds with the Russian authorities. Despite these challenges, Maria showed great academic promise from an early age. In Poland, higher education opportunities for women were almost non-existent, so Marie and her sister Bronisława pursued their studies through the underground Flying University, an institution that allowed women to learn in secret. In exchange for financial support from her sister, Marie worked as a governess and later moved to Paris in 1891 to attend the University of Paris, Sorbonne, where she studied physics and mathematics. Living in near poverty during this time, she was intensely focused on her studies and quickly earned a degree in physics in 1893, followed by a mathematics degree a year later. In 1894, Marie met Pierre Curie, a French physicist, and they married a year later, forming one of the most famous scientific partnerships in history. Marie began her doctoral research on the mysterious rays recently discovered by Henri Becquerel. These rays came from uranium salts and emitted energy without any external stimulation, leading Marie to investigate this phenomenon further. In 1898, Marie coined the term radioactivity to describe the spontaneous emission of radiation from certain elements. Alongside Pierre, she discovered two new elements, polonium, named after Poland, her homeland, and radium. Their work built on Becquerel's findings, but the Curies were able to isolate radioactive materials and show that the phenomenon was an intrinsic property of the atom itself. This was a groundbreaking discovery that significantly expanded the understanding of atomic physics. Marie's relentless dedication to science was evident in her ability to handle extremely dangerous materials, often without knowing the full health risks involved. During this period, she performed painstaking labor in primitive conditions, processing tons of pitchblende ore to extract tiny amounts of radium. Her work was the first to isolate pure radium and describe its properties. In 1903, Marie Curie, Pierre Curie, and Henri Becquerel were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for their work on radioactivity. This made Marie the first woman ever to win a Nobel Prize. Tragically, just a few years later, in 1906, Pierre died in a street accident in Paris leaving Marie devastated, but more determined than ever to continue their research. She succeeded Pierre as the chair of physics at the University of Paris, becoming the first woman to hold such a position. In 1911, Curie won her second Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry, for her discovery of radium and polonium and her work in radioactivity. This made her the first person, male or female, to win Nobel Prizes in two different fields. The Nobel Committee recognized the immense significance of her contributions to chemistry, which also opened new fields of research in medicine, including cancer treatment through radiation therapy. 
During World War I, Marie Curie used her knowledge to contribute to the war effort. She developed mobile radiography units, which were later known as Little Curies, and equipped vehicles with X-ray machines to assist battlefield surgeons in detecting and treating shrapnel injuries. She also trained female volunteers to operate these machines, ensuring that thousands of soldiers received better medical care. After the war, she continued her research and worked on creating a radium institute dedicated to the study of radioactivity and cancer treatment. Her work inspired future generations of scientists and helped establish the use of radiation in medical treatments, a legacy that continues today. Marie Curie died on July 4, 1934, from a plastic anemia believed to have been caused by prolonged exposure to radiation. Her pioneering work came at a personal cost. Her health was irreversibly damaged by years of handling radioactive materials. Nevertheless, her legacy endures. Curie's influence extended far beyond her scientific discoveries. She paved the way for women in science at a time when they faced systemic discrimination. Her determination, intellectual rigor, and passion for discovery earned her a place in history as a role model for scientists and women worldwide. In 1995, Marie Curie became the first woman to be laid to rest under the Pantheon in Paris for her own accomplishments. Her contributions to science, humanity, and the advancement of women remain monumental to this day. Her research laid the foundation for numerous scientific breakthroughs, and her legacy is a testament to the power of perseverance, intellect, and a love for discovery.